The golf club featured in today's video is incredibly forgiving, has super fast ball speed, and it is also incredibly versatile. And that versatility is the exact reason why it should be in more average golfers' bags. So if you are considering adding just one club to your current bag setup in 2023, then I would seriously recommend that you give this one some consideration. And that ball flight is absolutely incredible and that's one of the reasons to put it in the bag. The other thing to note right there was the ball speed, just how far this thing is travelling in relationship to its loft, which I'll reveal very, very soon. And that's also part of its flexibility. And just for good measure, I forgot to press record on my main camera for the audio on that clip there, so I hit another ball on the phone that you can now watch it is virtually identical in its ball flight and where it landed and maybe more importantly just how straight it is so the question is why do i think that this is such a good option to put in your golf bag well many reasons one of them you won't find a golf club that is quite as forgiving as this thing and the other reason i've no club that i've come across that can give you so many options in terms of your personal bag setup. And once again, that ball flight in its current setting is ridiculously high, bouncing along there ridiculously long and potentially ridiculously forgiving. And my guess is this would very much become a go-to club in the bag. Who doesn't like having one of them? It's the type of club that breeds confidence and can be used in a number of different situations very much depending on how you decide to have things set up and that again goes back to this flexibility or versatility whichever way you want to look at it so come on and what's the club well the club is from callaway it is in fact from their big bertha lineup and uh, the first thing i've got to say is just how impressed i have been personally by that big bertha lineup in the clubs i've tested so far that being a driver and a heavenwood but there's an issue with both of those clubs that this club that i'm testing today could well resolve well at least in terms of that heavenwoods issue you see the thing is this is a fairway wood with a difference it can in fact be three of what i consider to be my favorite fairway wood options all in one club wow that's a fast ball speed as well oh my word that's a really interesting one that we're going to have a look at later on today but back to the versatile fairway wood which i would perhaps call callaway's very own swiss army knife of fairway woods so first of all my favorite fairway woods right now will they be a five wood a seven wood or a heaven wood and possibly even a four wood now the problem with that is that's a lot of woods to carry and dependent on the weather, dependent on the conditions, dependent on the type of course I play, they might all want to be in the bag at the same time. You see, for me, the Callaway Big Bertha 5 wood could almost be the perfect fairway wood for most average golfers. And that is a lot to do with its starting loft being 19 degrees. So that's weaker, first of all, than your traditional type of 5 wood. And we all know that kind of loft is going to help you in its standard position. But it's what you can do from there in terms of its flexibility, both adjusting that loft both up and down, that make this one of the most versatile clubs that you could consider putting in your bag. I think, first of all, before we go any further, maybe just have a little glimpse at the looks of this thing. It's a very much old style Big Bertha, in my opinion, not changed massively over the years. Lots of people will like that. The crown itself is a little bit triangular in its shape again, very much like the driver. I like the gray finish. It's got a uh, gloss finish, which again, everyone knows I would prefer a matte finish, but that aside, it's a nice 
sit at the ball. Chevron mark in the middle of the spot, some white alignment, um, grooves rather, in that face, all help alignment and provide some visual loft and therefore confidence. There is that issue of offset that you've got to consider as being the possible only negative I would suggest. But let me talk more about this versatility and why that 19 degree starting position makes this a super key and interesting fairy wood that Callaway have added to their lineup. Now if we go back to the beginning and take a look at the three shots that you've seen me hit so far on camera, all in that standard 19 degree starting position, you'll see one thing that is prevalent in all of them and that is just how high they launch the golf ball. I've already said that that makes it a very user-friendly club in its normal state. This sort of elongated crown means that the CG is uh, helping massively and get that ball up and airborne anyway. You've then got some fast ball speeds I referred to, which is always a great help as well. But the one thing I've complained about is the potential look at address of the offset, but what it's done incredibly well, for me at least, is keep the ball flight very neutral and very, very straight indeed. But what I want to do then is change this into a position that could make it very, very flexible, both sides of the spectrum in terms of that loft adjustment. So the first adjustment that I am going to make is to increase the loft and I'm adding two degrees of loft on. So that takes it to 21. So we're in those realms of the heaven wood and of course that seven wood, which do one thing, they put the ball incredibly high. There's two things to remember, the heaven wood and the seven wood are non-adjustable. So already this five wood has some advantage over it because I've already moved it into that heaven wood position. I've also got a shorter shaft in hand than that of the heaven wood. So in theory, we've got a little bit more control. So let's hit a shot and just find out exactly what happens in terms of ball flight. And on previous experience with the heaven wood, I'm expecting this thing to go into the clouds. my word it just does exactly that and uh to be honest with you my review i can't believe how far it goes though at the uh, by the same token as well as that high launching i mean i almost found with the heavenwood in the big bertha range i was semi-critical it from a personal perspective in the ball flight went too high but oh my word, that is going to help so, so many golfers. And the fact that I've just made one change in the five wood that I've bought and turned it into a seven wood and managed to get that kind of change in ball flight is already one good reason why this is such a versatile option. But obviously we can go the other way. Let's take this down and just see what difference it makes in terms of the ball flight now compared to that standard setting of the five wood. I just love the fact that it already starts off at 19 degrees, which is a much more user-friendly loft for fairway wood and gives you so many more options in that position on its own. Yeah, exactly what I wanted to see happen really. I mean, exactly the same position. Then balls are virtually over one another. It'd be interesting to see just how much difference there is in terms of where they've landed. The one thing that I am super impressed with is just how straight I've hit this today. And that kind of um, offset is clearly helping me in terms of someone that hits the ball from left to right. I kind of found it too off-putting in the driver, but in this five wood setup, it's really keeping that ball fright really neutral for me. But again, you're just seeing hopefully if shot tracer picked that up, just a little bit more of a more penetrating ball flight. Still not a low ball flight. And again, I don't want it to move that low because I want all of the CG and mass to help me still get that ball up in the air. Because the next thing we're going to do is go down, pick one up off the fairway and just see what it's like in terms of that flexibility off the fairway, which can often be another tough shot for us average golfers, particularly with a low lofted three wood in hand. So what happens when you've got something like this standard 19 degree fairway wood as an option? So in terms of the setting, I've just knocked it back to its standard position, which was uh, very much uh, neutral 19 degrees. Um, typical kind of shot, par five, second one in. First of all, 
what I'm looking at, and I mentioned a lot in the videos, is the white score lines on the face just make a lot more of the face itself visible, which means I'm seeing loft. I'm seeing an angle in that club face, which makes me think the ball is going to go that way. If I've got a three wood in hand, that face has got a lot less loft, and it's not making me think the same things. It's also a very shallow head, uh, shallow and elongated, which for me sits flat to the turf, which again, I like because it's, um, it's probably a mental thing, but I feel like I'm going to slide that club along the turf prior to impact and uh, just pick it nice and clean off the top. The question is, is that what actually happens in reality? So let's try and keep it nice and smooth. Look at a ball flight, I mean, it's unreal. It wasn't the best of swings, I'll be perfectly honest with you. I've drifted off a little bit to the right, um, if you're being critical about it, and it was a bit, a bit laid off, if you like. But again, the club did a lot of work for me there. Um, there's no doubt about it, with a three wood perhaps in hand, uh, something more with more loft. You ain't getting that ball flight, there's no doubt about that. And with many other five woods um, that you could also choose, you're also not getting that ball flight either. There's obviously Big Bertha is designed to do one thing and that's be very user friendly. Um, and one of those things, get the ball airborne, it does it ridiculously well, even off the fairway. The one negative, if you like, and I can't not comment on it, is just the price of these things again. I think, there's an RRP of 369, uh, which for a fairway wood is it's just gone mental, but you know, I can't do nothing about that. Uh, I don't know where you're getting, where, where you draw the line in terms of reviews. I review what comes out, you choose whether you want to buy it or not, but I, I do feel that the price of stuff right now is just gone insane. That 369 was an RRP, it might be selling lower than that when it gets actually out into retail, but either way, a lot of money and that's why again if you go back to that versatility element this five wood offers at least you're getting a little bit in terms of options with a club rather than you go down the route of the seven wood which we spoke about and it's very much a one-dimensional type of club albeit a good one and the final thing i'd mention is about the options why this is so different in terms of the big birth of five wood what I couldn't understand in the Paradigm range was the five wood was an unadjustable fairway wood. Not too sure why they did that, I have no idea. Baffled me at the time, something we mentioned with in the review. So the idea that this has got that adjustability in the Big Bertha that isn't available in the Paradigm. It might be available in the Triple Diamond, but again, that's a kind of not really a club for most average golfers. Then this already gives it a massive heads up. So. Do you know what? I'm going to leave it there. I was going to hit one more off the next tee, but I'm also probably just going to say exactly what I have done already, which is forgiving, super fast, plenty of versatility. It is Callaway's Swiss Army Knife, in my opinion. And if you are considering buying one club this year, add into your bag, then I would certainly make sure you give that one a go. I'm loving it, I'll be honest with you. And a little bit surprised at the same time. Right. As ever, thanks for watching. I'm also going to call it quits because I've got a feeling there's a downpour of rain on its way up here at Hollywell Golf Club, so it's time for me to head on into the uh, clubhouse, get a little bit of breakfast, and I'll maybe come back out. And uh, that iron you see me hit earlier was the new Big Bertha irons, and I've only hit one with it, and my God, I can't wait to get back out and give them another try. See you tomorrow.